my UC Berkeley tour. We didn't go to every place. Every place. What? I hope that wasn't a gunshot. So, you got rejected from Stanford. <laughs> and that's why you're here. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is campus and I will be showing you around today at UC Berkeley. So this is Lower Sproul and usually there's so many, so many tables here trying to flyer to you and they're gonna be asking you like, um, uh, do you care about world hunger or do you wanna help children? And you have to be obnoxious and say no and just keep walking to class because there are so many people and it's kind of annoying but that's part of campus life. There's so many clubs to check out here. That is the gate over there. This is Sproul Hall and a lot of like financial aid and admissions and all those like logistical stuff is over here. Yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> this is Seder Gate and where a lot of people take pictures when they get into Berkeley and they're like, I got into Berkeley. Over there is GBC Cafe, uh, Golden Bear Cafe and they have food and scantrons and snacks. So this is the Campanile, and if you don't know what a Campanile is, it is a clock tower. It rings every hour, and you can take a class, or a decal, which is a student-run class, how to ring bells, to different fashion, like... And you can go up to the Campanile for free if you're a UC Berkeley student, and the weather is really nice today. It's usually not this nice. It's almost as nice as UCLA. So at this point, you can see beautiful Campanile, but if you turn around, if you turn around, you can definitely also see the Golden Gate Bridge. So it's like one spot, two views. Oh no, one spot, three views. People like to take graduation pictures here and LinkedIn photos here. Um, again, it's usually not this bright and I'm usually not this damp on my face. Oily, <laughs> moist. <laughs> oh, it is, it is a packed house in there. Is it? We have to whip out our scolades. Jasmine, we have to. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my first time up here, too. So now we're up at the Campanile. This is also my first time here. Quite lovely view this is. These are the bells that they ring at every hour. Uh, I'm not gonna make the sounds of a bell because you guys probably know what, you guys and girls probably already know what bells sound like. So if you look really carefully on this other side, that is Telegraph Avenue, you know, in Childish Gambino's song Telegraph Avenue. That is the telegraph he is talking about. Uh, yeah, that's true. I guess we're going down now. We just came out of the Campanile and now this is the courtyard right next to the Campanile. And the weather's really nice like this. People like to hang hammocks between trees um, or homeless people just like to chill here too. But we're a campus that is open to all, you know, free speech movement or whatever. I'm just gonna make it up right now that you should rub it and it's good luck. The building is Evans. Evans is with the stat department and econ department and also the undergraduate advising department. Uh, also the ugliest building. Also the ugliest building, but on the 10th floor, there is a room that looks all over the uh, Bay Area and campus too, that is very beautiful. Um, so I used to sneak in there all the time because um, TAs would have free coffee and dessert in there, so I would just take that too. When you go to public school, you just take all the free stuff they offer. That is where Stanley Hall, Pimentel, uh, Pim is it, it's Pimentel, right? Yeah. Pimentel. Uh, Pimentel, Pimentel, Latimer, Campbell, um, where all the STEM, chem, bio, physics classes are held. Yeah, and there's a cafe called Yaldi's there, which is, it's okay. What do you recommend? Mmm, their strawberry milkshake's good, but it's pretty overpriced. But there are better places on campus to get a frozen treat, and we'll talk about that in another video. It's just present everywhere. Yeah, it's just everywhere, you know, it's like the Illuminati. Um, if you walk this way, then we're gonna start heading to Memorial Glade. Oh, there's a car. So now we're headed to Memorial Glade, and Memorial Glade is this gorgeous field again. It's usually not this nice. You see all those people just chilling and 
uh, doing work or sunbathing but usually it's not this nice and it's cloudy and rainy here and it, the floor is wet mud. Well mud is wet so wet mud would be repetitive so just mud. You'll have the Southeast Asian Library and then we have Moffitt and then Doe. Doe is your cliche UC Berkeley picture library and we'll go there right now. I'm just gonna teleport there. Teleported to Doe Library. Doe Library is probably the most photogenic place on campus. A lot of people also take their LinkedIn and professional photos here and graduation photos right in front of this gate. This is Doe. Oh, people have stickers on their laptop that say like, Fat Library Doe. Oh, I am at another place where people take a lot of their graduation photos. This is a nicer look where Doe is and people do study on there. There isn't a ton of study space. This main library that looks like, it's like the Harry Potter room which we cannot go into today, but maybe I'll get footage of it from my phone another time during the week. Look at those uh, Corinthian columns. I'm not sure if they're the Corinthian. They might be Ionic or Doric. But from my knowledge of AP Art History, I do know there are three types of columns. I actually think those are Ionic columns, now that I think about it. <laughs> That's why she got into it. <laughs> um, Corinthian columns actually has more flourishing on the top, but watch it be Corinthian columns. I'm gonna put what it is right here. There goes the bell. This is one of the many seals on campus, and apparently if you step on it, you won't get a 4.0 your first semester, but that's already out the window, so I step on it all the time. Now we're in front of East Asian Library, so like me, because I'm East Asian. This is East Asian Library. It is, the, I think, the prettiest library on campus. Inside is really, really beautiful, and I think I have video footage of it. I'm gonna insert it right now. Study rooms, it's really aesthetic, and there's not a lot of space, but it's really nice and quiet. So this is East Asian Library, and that's Doe. So that's, we're already squished between two libraries. And then that is Moffitt, it's one of our newer libraries. It was built a few years ago. For how new it is, it's kind of musty, but people like to live out there, camp out there, because the library on Sundays is 24 hours, and most people do do, do their work. <laughs> Do do. <laughs> Most people do do their work at Moffitt and plot twist we were actually standing on top of a library right and it's in between Doe and Moffitt and it's called Main Stacks and it's really really depressing there's no cellular reception down there only Wi-Fi and it's dead quiet and under like five floors of cement but if you need to get some work done it's a great place they have great tables but just no food so. Which library is the last food? Uh, only Moffitt. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can only eat at Moffitt. That's why it's probably more musty because people bring food and stuff and it can smell weird. Um, but Moffitt has four floors. Doe, I think the only floor we can go to is like the first and second one. Something like that. I don't know. But the Campanile is right there too, and earlier you guys just heard the bell ring. And now we're gonna slowly be wrapping up the tour. We're gonna go to VL, VL, S, S. B. Um, and that's the Valley Life Science Building. So we're gonna go there right now. Actually, this area right here was in Hannah Montana when Lily was going to Stanford. Um, I don't think they could get footage to film Stanford. So they actually filmed this area right here, calling it Stanford as a transitional B-roll, but it is actually Berkeley. Fun facts. And Troy Bolton went to UC Berkeley. That is FSM Cafe. It's in Moffitt on third floor. And it is an outdoor and indoor cafe that stays open till 2 a.m. Foods whatever, drinks or whatever, but it's a good space to do work. And uh, uh, on a weather night like this, people do like to definitely work outside. So now we are at VLSB. This is just the uh, south, north, north. East side. Oh, yeah. This is the east side of the building that's on west side of campus. They're closer to downtown. So after you pass this building, you'll be in downtown Berkeley. Uh, yeah, VLSB is pretty old. Um, a lot of math lectures happen here. A lot of lectures in general happen here. This side is where Lee Cushing 
uh, and where the plant bio section of campus is, which we're not going to be going today. But they have Brown's Cafe, which is one of my favorite cafes on campus, um, and places to study. Yeah, no one usually likes to go to that side because it's so far from uh, where most of the hip and happening stuff on campus. Which building's behind you? That is Donnell, and a lot of LNS classes are held here. Lectures, discussions, English classes. Considering most of the students on this campus are in LNS, which is Letters and Science, uh, a lot of the buildings are like dedicated towards those classes. Campus is pretty foresty, uh, especially more on the plant bio section. What building is this important for some people? Yeah, this is the SLC. Um, it's where people get tutoring, and it's super shameless. Like you don't have to, you don't have to be like super struggling to come here. I used to come here all the time in my chem class just to do homework with people and keep bothering um, the TAs and the SLC tutors to help me with my homework and that ended up me getting a good grade so you gotta do what you gotta do and it's super shameless not like for dumb people or anything because if you're gone into Berkeley you're smart already Go Bears Go Bears Go Bears So now we're at Barzellerbach Hall, Eshelman Hall, and MLK building is. And that is um, Sproul Hall, which we started off our tour with, and now we made full circle back to here. Um, this is MLK building, there's a lot of study space. It's open to the public, there is music playing. Yeah, um, MLK is open to the public and anyone can come in and study. It's new, but again, because it's like open for everybody and one of the most common places to study, it can get kind of musty, similar to Moffitt. And that's a bug meant for a lot of clubs. Um, if you're an officer in a club, um, you have access to that building and late hours and study rooms and stuff like that. And this is Delabuck Hall. This is where a lot of performing events happen, even for non-Berkeley students. Tons of cool concerts happen here, symphonies, dance shows, um, anything like that. And usually this whole area is filled with tons of people rehearsing modern dance at night. Um, yeah, there's like tons of modern dance teams on campus and they all practice here at night. Chinese drum team, Korean drum teams, everything and you could possibly think about the student clubs rehearse here. So it's kind of nice to see at night how involved everyone is on campus. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. My favorite place on campus is um, Haas. <laughs> Can you tell us the reason why? <laughs> because Haas is really nice because it only makes sense why Haas is nice because not a lot of people visit that area of campus so their facilities are nicer and they just built a new hall called Chu or Chow Hall that's sparkling new. I like to do my work there and and she's yeah. a Haas student. I don't like to talk about it too much but that's a video that's a video for another day. That is it for my UC Berkeley tour. We didn't go to every place. What? Uh, I hope I wasn't a gunshot, but um, what was that? Okay, that is kind of concerning, but... Okay, so I know I didn't get to go to every part of campus, but I did hit the main spots, and I hope you enjoyed this video and this was informative. Thank you so much for watching, and congratulations if you're coming to Berkeley, and go Bears! Subscribe, like, and comment for more content! Let's give it up for my awesome cameraman.